With the latest artificial intelligence cutting edge technology, a lot of people have been asking, is Africa ready for the AI evolution? Well, Africa is not left behind. Since 2016, a lot of AI companies have been springing up in the continent. Some of these tech companies can put money in your pocket, help improve crop yield to farmers, and a whole lot. Relax as I present to you the top 10 AI startups in Africa. You are watching Pare HD. And right at number 10 is a South Africa startup called Godbot. Godbot has raised $18,000 to develop a commercial chatbot platform. The company offers its customer service bots through Facebook Messenger, Twitter, WeChat, Skype, SMS, and Web Chat. They also have a commercial solution that lets you make purchases through Facebook Messenger. The startup's AI algorithms help predict customer behavior and can suggest answers to customer service personnel in real time or answer customer questions autonomously. In a big vote of confidence for their platform, Godbot has been working with the South African subsidiary of Bank BNB Paribas since the launch. Nigerian startup Touchable Pictures has raised 21,000 US dollars to develop a picture search app that enables users to get more information on the content of a photo by touching it. For example, when a friend posts a selfie wearing a new watch, the app will recognize the brand and model and help you buy it online. The app targets e-commerce for fashion and lifestyle but can be adapted to other areas where visual search is required, like education and healthcare. Presently, the platform allows users to find information and pictures in the Touchable app or their own photo gallery. But the startup plans to extend its image recognition capabilities to other platforms as well. Around 95% of their users come from Nigeria, India, and the US, and the company plans to continue expanding internationally. Egyptian startup Whitebot is another contender in the chatbot arena with 50,000 US dollars raised to develop a chatbot builder platform that specifically geared towards the 420 million Arabic speakers in the world. The chatbot can understand all the different dialects of the Arabic language and then segment users for targeted broadcasts. It allows online payment through the chat window and provide usage analytics. The platform integrates with many content providers and e-commerce platforms like Google, Shopify, and WordPress, and is used by companies in the Arabic-speaking world, including the government of Dubai. Nigerian startup Kakia has raised 50,000 US dollars to develop a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform, which bears a similarity to Upstarts. The platform matches users who want to lend money with users looking to borrow money, and in some cases who provide direct loans. The process is handled by a virtual artificial intelligence agent called Mr. K that also does credit scoring based on borrowers' activity on the platform, financial behavior, and social media information. Though the company doesn't have an application yet, so lending goes through their web-based conversational interface. Mr. K offers short-term personnel and small business loans with interest rates dependent on credit scores. The company makes money on commission for peer-to-peer -peer transactions and interest from direct loans. With a low default ratio of 2.3%, the solution is currently being used by 22 Nigerian states out of 36. 
Egyptian startup Potme has raised 100,000 US dollars to develop a platform that lets you build chatbots for product searches, order placement, payment, and shipping using only messaging platforms. According to Botme, half of all consumers could make a purchase through a messaging app and 90% of them would be returned customers if the checkout is easy enough. Bots are designed using conversational building blocks and workflows can be updated in real time. Besides generic bots for client conversion and commercial management, Botme also has chatbots that orders from guests in restaurants. The service is priced according to the number of conversations per month, with a fixed subscription fee component and a percentage transaction fee component. Kenyan startup UTU Technologies has raised 250,000 US dollars to develop a service provider recommendation platform based on people's social media connections. It's a trust infrastructure that aims to empower service providers in sectors where customer trust is an issue, like babysitting, teaching, IT development, or home maintenance. UTU's approach is to find out who you know and then see who they can recommend. So it's kind of like word of mouth without having to talk to anyone. Of course, it only works if you don't have any incompetent friends. They are also expanding to other web-based services such as offering social media data to peer-to-peer -peer lenders who evaluate credit risks based on non-traditional data points. Founded in 2016, Tunisian startup Datavora has raised 893,000 US dollars to develop a market data platform for e-commerce. The startup gathers information like product assortment, prices, and specifications on tens of thousands of stockkeeping units available online to provide benchmark and competitive data for e-commerce providers. The algorithms consolidate and structure the data, match similar products, analyze market trends, and predict market behavior. The tool is used by retailers and brands to build sales and marketing strategies for e-commerce. Datavora covers more than 2,000 retailers in 50 countries and is updated multiple times a day. Prices start at $400 a month for monitoring one product category in three countries. Another Kenyan startup, Apollo Agriculture, has raised 1.6 million US dollars in funding to develop a platform for financing Kenyan small scale farmers. Apollo uses machine learning algorithms on satellite data, soil data, farmer behavior, and crop yield models to deliver customized packages of seed, fertilizer, and even advice on how to grow better crops. On the financial technology side, Apollo Agriculture offers insurance and credit lines to farmers who can purchase high-quality seeds and fertilizer with a flexible post-harvest repayment terms, all tailored to their GPS track plot of land. Apollo claims this holistic approach can double yields of small farms and financially educate underbound Kenyan farmers at the same time. Cape Town, South Africa startup Aerobotics has raised 4.8 million US dollars to develop a geospatial intelligent platforms that enable pest and disease detection in tree crops using drones, satellite imagery, and of course, artificial intelligence to interpret all the big data that is being collected. The AI algorithms can analyze image data down to a single tree while providing statistics on tree health, tree count, tree size, and canopy area. The basic app access is free, and the company makes money by offering a drone monitoring service that costs $3 per acre per month. Farmers that use their own drone pay a dollar less per acre. And our number one AI startup in Africa is the Nigerian startup called Kudi 
Cody has raised 5.9 million US dollars in funding that started with a seed round from Y Combinator, the accelerator that brought us Airbnb, Dropbox, and Coinbase. Kudi has developed a chatbot for bill payments and money transfers that operate through Facebook Messenger and Skype. The chatbot uses phone networks instead of data connections since only 39% of Nigeria's population has internet access. The startup also has an aging system which encourages users to act as a local payment hub in their communities. You can start making money by providing banking services to people around you and you can set up an account in just about three minutes. The platform supports bank account transfers, bill payment, and even mobile phone top ups Money transfers are free, payments incur about 30 cents per transaction, agents can organize payments and transact on behalf of others using their own account and receive a share of Kudis tech. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do well to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button because I put in so much energy to create this video. Catch you next week with a brand new video. Stay positive. Peace. I'm out.